I've often been asked, how long does a copyright last? And that's a really good question. I'm Elizabeth Nixon, attorney at law. Hopefully I'm going to answer this question for you, which has several moving pieces to the equation. So here's how we jump into it. The life of a copyright or the term of a copyright is what determines whether a work is in the public domain, which means royalty free and you can use it without permission or if something is still under its copyright protection, which means you need permission to be able to use it. The, we have to break this section down into two eras, before 1976 and after 1988. So if you're dealing with an older work that was created before 1976, let's answer that question first. There's two parts. Was this work created by an individual or by a company? What does that mean? Well, was Joe Schmo sitting on his couch writing lyrics to a song? Or was it an animator at Disney and it's a corporate or company copyright? If it's an individual copyright that was protected before 1976, then you're looking at a term of the copyright being that author's life plus 50 years. So if that author is still alive, then this uh, product is going to be copy protected through the rest of their life plus another 50 years. If it was a copyright registered by a Disney, for example, then you're going to have from creation of that product plus 75 years. So anything before 1976 by a company, creation plus 75 years. Now, what if it's a newer piece? What if it was created after 1988? And these dates only go to when Congress has made new laws. So that's really the only reason for the date question. But if it was created after 1988 by some guy sitting on his couch, so just an individual, then that copyright term is the author's life plus 70 years. So you get an extra 20 years. So after 1988, an individual copyright lasts the life of that author plus 70 years. Now, what if it is a corporate copyright? What if it is a Disney or a Pixar? Then there's two possible answers. It's either going to be the term from creation plus 120 years or the date of first publication plus 95 years, whichever is the shorter term, whichever expires first. Congress did recognize we don't need these corporate copyrights going on forever. So to recap, post-1988 copyrights, because this is probably the most commonly asked question, you would be looking at an individual copyright protection being life of the author plus 70 years, or a corporate copyright being creation plus 120 years, or publication plus 95 years, whichever is the shortest. I hope that's been helpful. Stay tuned for more helpful information that will give you the confidence you need as you launch into your business destiny.